Hello and welcome back to my channel where I try and stick two fingers up to the energy companies. Uh, it is the 31st of August 22, the last day of meteorological summer. Hmm. <laughs> Soon be Christmas. On, on today's episode of I Hate Clouds, it is one of those days where you really got to be careful of what we're doing. As in, it's boom or bust, six kilowatts in the they're dropping down to 1500 stroke two kilowatts. Uh, what I mean by that is only doing one thing at a time. So it's washing machine, um, hot water, and then charge the car. You know, makes life very, very awkward. And it also causes bloody arguments in the household when you've got three kilowatts coming in and people decide to sort of finally wake up and come out of bed and go and make tea and toast at the same time so if you was to just run the kettle use your three kilowatts and then run your toaster at another 900 900 watts you know then it's not charging you anything I mean, you try and point that out to people and it just ends up spiraling into an unnecessary argument and it's getting quite bloody it, uh, just getting on my nerves now we try we try and try plan for today is get this gimbally thing to work plan for today is to make a start cutting that up oh and on that subject of what can we do today 720 watts 700 oh. 720 watts to run an angle grinder to cut this up and the car's on charge it's on a six amp charge so at 240 volts that's using roughly 1400 watts so i'm gonna have to go and turn the car off so that i'm not greedy and this doesn't cost us any money to stand here and cut this up for a few hours because it's going to be a long job cut this into shape see what i can salvage so I'll play with another time lapse and see what the day brings, see how long I can get peace and quiet to myself to get this bloody done. Honestly, it's not bad though, to be honest with you. Could be worse places to be in a shitty situation. Right, let's some have some let's have some fun. I'm absolutely gutted. I've just discovered that uh, my phone cut out whilst I was doing a time lapse, so I don't know how much of this you saw, but that's that all free. That's that all free. This is quite good. Still very, very heavy, which is a bit of a mild inconvenience. I'm going to need to rally some troops to give me a hand to lift that up into the garden so I can just wire brush it all off and give it a hammer right so that's that that's that all freed up off of the axle and whatever it's a really good length to be honest with you it's going to be a good bit of square meterage to that's a bit that I hacked off but even so it's going to be a good good square meterage for solar panels right that's all for now 
time for dinner. I think. Look at that lovely sky. Beautiful sky. They're yeah, pretty. It's gonna be a gorgeous sunset. I did manage to get the car on charge in the end. It's all fully charged, which is nice. Even just on a trickle charge, just a very low six amp charge, still managing to get her charged up and keep her topped up quite easily. It's really working quite well. So that's it for now. Bye bye.